In this video, I'm going to talk about the Markdown node in N8N, which falls into the category of nodes that I'd wish I had known about a long time ago, because it would have saved me a ton of tokens and, and cost and, and time and all of that effort. So here we have a simple workflow. You know, it's just a click trigger. We have an AI agent, and we have what we have is the Markdown node, all right? And it's currently set to Markdown to HTML. You also have the option of doing HTML to Markdown. And so, you know, to be able to find it, just come over here to the Open Nodes panel, type in Markdown, it should pop up right there. All right, and that's it. So here we go, we're gonna delete that. And inside of it, real quick, I'll show you. Um, all we do is we select the style we want, either Markdown to HTML or HTML to Markdown. You're gonna input where it's gonna come from. You're gonna set the destination key, so you can call that data or output or whatever you need it to be. We have a couple items, so like add blank to links, automatic linking to URLs, bash, backslash escapes HTML tags, complete HTML document, uh, customize header ID, emoji support, so we're gonna go ahead and turn on emoji support. All right, boom, got some emoji support. So now it's gonna be able to see the emojis and actually treat them like real emojis. All right, we got some GitHub stuff back here, some header level start, mandatory space before headers, middle word asterisks. You got all kinds of different options here to be able to transform what we once considered, you know, something that you might have to do uh, with an AI agent here. So this, this is how I used to do it and probably how you were doing it too. So we would have our AI agent here. I have just, you know, a prompt, bananas, write a full report on the history and context of what makes the input item so important, output it as markdown. So you might have in the past had some sort of output or input that had been markdown or HTML. And you're like, man, in order to be able to get it to work with this other system, it needs to be HTML format or markdown format or whatever. And so here we have our markdown. So we have our single uh, asterisk or not ask, uh, our single hashtag, which is, you know, header one. And then in here somewhere, uh, we've got some line breaks some backslash ends, we've got some uh, triple uh, the H3 header. So, uh, but that's, you know, markdown. So three, three hashtags. Uh, we got some, what, some slashes. All right, all right, to make it bold. All right, so all cool, but like, what if I want that in HTML? What if I wanna be able to upload that uh, into a PDF document and make the PDF look all good? What I used to do until I learned about this node just the other day was I would used to have to potentially run this through another AI, or maybe I had my document coming from somewhere else. It came in as Markdown. I want it to transform to HTML. Well, now all I do is set up this one node, Markdown to HTML. I take my output, put it where the, my input's gonna be, set my data key to whatever you want your data to be called, and just hit execute. It's gonna take a second and, oh, but Brad, isn't that still Markdown? Yes, scroll down, boom, there it is. Now it's all in HTML. And so now we can then go and process it. Maybe I, I use something like API templates.io in order to be able to turn this into a PDF. Well, that requires you to have it in HTML format, not markdown, not plain text. And so really cool node. Hopefully this taught you something that you didn't know about before, because I swear if I had known about this, I would have saved buckets of dollars, not having to transform it again with another AI agent. So that's awesome. If you want additional helpful NADN tutorials, maybe a couple free workflows. When I say a couple, I mean, I got a ton of free workflows. Join my free school community. Links in the description down below, down there somewhere. All right, sign up for the school community, absolutely free. You can get this and a ton of other helpful tutorials, workflows, some advice from me. Great community of hundreds of different people building with NADN, all trying to implement AI into their business to be able to grow and develop. Also, if you like the video, please make sure to like and share it. Subscribe to the channel. It really does help get that information out there to those who need it. As always, I'm Bradford Carlton. Let's automate your success together.